Welcome to bfiler.com, Pakistan's first online tax preparation and filing portal. Sign up for a free account and prepare your income tax return within minutes simply by answering easy questions. Any user can create an account by providing basic information like CNIC number, name, email, and cell phone number. First of all, the system requires you to choose between NTN registration and filing of tax return. In this demo, filing of tax return is being shown, so select File Tax Return. Then select the tax year for which tax return needs to be filed. We select 2018 for this demo. The system will then ask to describe your level of expertise for filing an income tax return between little or none and good or expert. The selection of expertise will determine the complexity of questions asked by the system. For ease of understanding, let's select little or none and then press continue. Next, fill out some additional personal information like date of birth, occupation, and residential address. The personal information, particularly date of birth and occupation, are not only required by FBR, but are also used to determine the tax rate applicable to the filer. Now, select the sources of income for the year. There are four broad categories. Salary from employment, property income, that is rental income, capital gain on sale of shares, mutual funds or property, and other sources, such as bonuses or dividend on shares, profit on bank deposits, agricultural income, remittances from abroad, or gift. We will select salary and other income for this demo. In the salary section, enter total annual taxable salary for the tax year. This figure is mentioned in the salary certificate provided by the employer. In case there are doubts about the exact amount, either ask the employer or enter the amount of salary actually received inclusive of the amount of tax deducted thereon. If traveling allowance was received as part of employment, then click Yes and enter the amount, otherwise carry on. In Tax Deducted field, enter the amount of tax deducted by the employer. Once the figures are entered, click the calculator icon on the left to update the figures. Unless any tax rebate or deduction are being claimed, the amount of tax charged or tax deducted should reconcile. If not, please check with your employer or HR department to ensure that the figures entered are correct. Once done, click Continue. Next is Income from Other Sources. Select as many sources of income as applicable. In this case, we assume that a profit on bank account of Rs 100,000 was received and a deduction of Rs 10,000 was made by the bank. Select the bank profit icon and enter the necessary details. You can add multiple bank accounts if needed. Once done, click Continue. Next comes Tax Rebates and Allowances section. Investment in mutual funds or insurance products and donations to registered charitable organizations can save you taxes. You can either select yes or no as applicable. In this case, we will select yes. Assume you had invested a sum of Rs 200,000 in mutual funds. So, we'll check investment in shares under IPO scheme, mutual funds or life insurance premium and then enter 200,000 in the text field. Click the calculator icon on the left to see the resulting impact. You will notice that an investment of Rs 200,000 in mutual funds led to a tax credit of Rs 9,917. Click Continue to move on to the next section, that is, advanced taxes deducted or paid, for example, on utility bills, banking transactions, sale or purchase of vehicle, or property, etc. We will click Yes for this demo and enter 1,000 rupees as advanced tax paid on cell phone bills along with relevant details. Next section is Wealth Statement. In this section, 
You have to reconcile your wealth for the tax year beginning on July 1st, 2017 in this demo with your wealth at the end of tax year, that is June 30th, 2018. In order to do that, you just have to provide the details of your expenses and particulars of assets held at the end of tax year 2018. In the first section of Wealth Statement, you have to enter your opening wealth. The amount you enter must be the same as your closing wealth in your last year's tax return. Say your 2017 tax return indicated that your closing wealth was 300000 Then your opening wealth for the tax year 2018 should be rupees 300000 Next question is whether you held any assets at the end of the tax year. We'll select yes in order to continue and enter the details of assets. There are eight icons in total depicting different categories of assets. You can hover the mouse cursor over each of the icon to see what kind of assets are covered in each category. We'll assume that we have a bank account and mutual funds investment both covered under accounts category. Expense category is selected by default since it is mandatory. We select bank account from the drop-down menu as form of account. Enter the necessary details, including the balance, as on June 30, 2018. We'll enter the bank balance of Rs. 1 million. Click Add Another Account and then select Mutual Funds as form of account. Enter the necessary details, including a balance of Rs. 200,000 and click Continue. There is a screen that indicates that we're almost done and just have to enter the details of expenses during the year to complete the return. Click Continue to get to the next screen. On the left side, you will see that system is indicating that there is a difference of Rs. 329,500 along with its reconciliation. It implies that your personal expenses should be 329,500 in order to eliminate your reconciliation difference. We'll assume that we paid a rent of 100,000 rupees during the year and spent 229,500 rupees on account of personal or household expenses. Click the calculator icon to see if the difference has been eliminated. If not, reconsider your expenses or details of closing assets. In our case, the difference should disappear. Once done, click Continue. You will be shown a summary of all the information you have entered. Once you click Continue, you will be prompted with standard disclaimers. Read them carefully and click Agree to continue. Then, you will be asked about your registration status with FBR. If you are registered with FBR, you would have a national tax number commonly known as NTN and credentials for filing return with FBR's tax portal, that is IRIS. If you select Yes, you would be prompted to enter your FBR's login credentials. In case you select No, you will be promoted to upload your CNIC to help you register with FBR through bfiler.com. For this demo, we will select Yes and enter FBR login credentials. This will lead you to the final step of making an online payment for the service. Enter the required information and select a payment method convenient to you. After the payment is made, the system automatically prepares the return to be reviewed by our professional tax consultants and then filed in FBR system.